So it's gonna be a very specific situation that won't apply to most people as a problem, but it, it was what happened to me. So hopefully this will help somebody out. Basically, I tried everything so far. I did a clean reboot, to reset the default settings. I've changed my bio settings. People have like their lighting control was messing it up. Their like some AI thing in Asus high performance was messing it up. I've checked all of that and it was none of that. And turns out it was my capture card. So yeah. This is 100% a very specific problem for people who have this capture card, but hopefully it helps somebody out who's on their like last legs and just don't know what else to try. So this is where I was really confused. So the most recent one is 706 at 4 seconds, and that's in balance. So I'm going to show you the problem, and it won't even report that it changed. So as you can see, no new events have happened. I'm going to exit out of this, and then come back to it, and it's going to show high performance and no new events have happened that caused this change. So that was, that was basically what was driving me insane because I couldn't figure out what was causing this issue. So it's a USB capture card and whenever I plug it in, it forces the computer into high performance mode. Who would have thought, right, a capture card? So I have this capture card. It's an Avery Media U3, a CV710. And there are a bunch of other problems with this capture card. So I'm really looking for a solution. Uh, so subscribe for that because I have a couple in the works that I want to test out. Like, it's kind of worrying that a capture card has this much control of your computer that even system event viewer won't detect it. Avery Media's own support page does specify that it's the cards do perform better in high performance mode. So I guess instead of, you know, asking someone to change it, they just force it on you instead, which I guess probably helps out with their tech support. But it's very troublesome if you don't know why this is happening. I am still finding a new card, but this is a good enough workaround until I can do that. Uh, it's in the article. You can read it or I'll, I'll go through the steps right here. Basically, you have to open up command prompt and find the power plan that you want to use. I want to use the balanced power plan. So I want to copy this ID, so, you know, highlight control C, and then you want to hit the Windows key and press R to run gpedit.msc, which is group policy edit. And what you want to do is open up the administrative templates and then system and then power, power management and select a custom active power plan. And basically what this does is forces the power plan that you found earlier through here. And what I like to do is just have a comment here of the power plan that I want to set it to. Because if you enable it, disable it, it'll delete what's in this box right now. As you can see, it's not here anymore. So I, I just put it as a comment so I can find it easily. And yeah, you just, you just copy and paste the power plan ID in here. You hit apply. And then if you go back to your power settings, it shows that Yes, the settings have been applied and it's stuck on balance now and I can't change them anymore and then the capture card also won't be able to change it. So yeah, that's about it. This is 100% a workaround and not a true fix, but it is good enough for now and that I have to use this capture card and I don't want to keep my computer at high performance all the time. And like I said before, this is very specific to people who have this capture card, but hopefully um, it helps you out. Maybe your capture card also does this and you weren't sure uh, what was going on. I have a couple of capture cards alternatives that I'm going to test out. I'll uh, post all my findings or find a good one. Even if I found a bad one, I'll still post it just to, just to tell you what not to buy. And yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you in the next one.